of YouTubers. I would like to welcome you to the game. Name per number. Hit this volume. Make sure the volume is up. This is going to be one hell of a ride. That's as much as I can tell you all. Get ready to get your socks scared off, man. This game is no joke. I've heard too much good about it. So, let's go ahead and just get off into it. We're going to start off on normal mode. Here we go. For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it, so when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. So, let's see what we got here. We'll go ahead and pick the notebook up. Uh, let's just check around. Uh, nothing in that. Uh, let's go over here to this drawer. That's a flashlight on hand. Good to have. Alright, let's keep checking around. Um, BS. I'll give you all a chance if you want to read that. Um, what you can do is just pause the video and kind of scan through it. You know, I don't want to keep you all reading and such. Let you all do that. Uh, let's head over to this locker. See what we got here. Now, what I'm gonna do is put this up here so I know what I can press to get what. I'm gonna put that as one. Put that notebook as two. Key is three. Should just come right out. Yeah, there it is. All right. So, uh, yeah, and I kind of dangled around with the controls and things like that beforehand, so I kind of know how to control stuff. So. This is a blind playthrough, so don't think I'm not uh, new to all of this, because I am. Just still kind of uh, brushing through everything. Why can't I take this? Give me this. 
this. this. Guess it won't let me take it. Alright. So we got a hell of a storm out here, as you can see. Damn storm is pretty bad. But you really can't say they didn't do a good job on the graphics what they got it, you know, right here. It's pretty good. Can't complain too much about the graphics of the game. For it to be an old I mean an older game. I think it came out no this is probably the first one I believe, so no the second one came out in like two thousand nine. Alright, so there we go, baby. Alright, so let's see if I can get this turning. Let's go into the depths of hell. Spring, get out of my ear. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Shut up. All right, people. So we got the steel rod. Uh, let's get in here. We got the flare. Keep looking around. I obviously can't lift these. Uh, can't get in there. Can't move that barrel either. So let's go ahead and head into this mysterious room here. Got us a little flare. Got us a little hammer. Okay, so right click mouse. So let, let's try this ham out. And I need to probably put this stuff in kind of some kind of order here. Um, okay. The pipe, it's flares, the lock glass, because I don't think we're going to need that right now. Okay, so let's pop this boy on. Uh, let's see. Let's get this hammer. Okay, yeah. Put this away. Okay, but anyway, let's go for it. Ah. Okay, but put that hammer away, son. Get this out the way. Get this shit out the damn way. Alright, so now let's take this hammer back out. Bust it open. Some man, he is not uh, utilizing this tool. There we go. Yeah, that's what the hell I'm talking about. All right, so let's get in here. Let's 
Okay, so now got a hole. So now I gotta crouch. There we go, man. This is harder than it looks sometimes, people. Okay, what the hell is that? Um, it's not going on first. Let's kind of check around and make sure I'm going to the right area. I don't want to miss nothing. Damn, what is this? Man, this is tricky in here. There's so many pathways. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, so that's where we came from. So I'm going to just follow the first, go on the first path. So let's take a look. Oh shit. Solid it won't open my hand. Someone obviously wants to keep people out or in. Shit, sound like in. Industrial mechanism, all that's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. So I'm I might yeah, it's probably time to get the hell out of here. Get your ass back in there. open this door now but is he gonna move this out the way so I can open it I know he can move this barrel man come on or maybe I gotta bust it up yeah makes sense now all right got some progress Let's not do that to the door. Let's just open it. Alright, so. Let's jump back in here. Go to the next part. Alright, so. Before. So, I didn't go this way. Or did I? Yeah, it's the same way I just came from. Let's go up here now. Damn, that's the same. Same fucking area. This is a confusing ass catacomb. Okay, so I definitely don't need to go in there. So, I guess there's no way else for me to go right here. So, let's get up. And I think I used the pole, maybe, right here. So, I'm going to take it out. There we go. All right, so let's use it. Are you going to... Oh, 
shit. Here we go. Man, so far this game, it's, it's got my heart beating. It got me in, got a little perspiration on my forehead. I, I can't even lie to you. It's definitely got a hard feel to it, man. It's real creepy. All right, so. Search around. There could be anything living down here. Heroics are the Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching by left control give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I'll know I got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Plus, I should be quiet enough that I can I won't be heard unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources though. So I definitely can't get that landing. Look at this map right quick. All right, so we got the workshop and office. So let's head this way. Hopefully I'm running in nothing, man. That's all I'm hoping. Please don't let me run in there. go at the office all right so I think this is a save point right here so what we're gonna do save it right here kind of regroup myself a little bit we got a little bit of the cobweb shaking off so what we're gonna do is just leave it off right here and we're gonna pick up next time thanks <laughs>